It's time for another video, and this one is all about rockets. I look at three different question types that often come up related to rockets. First off, Newton's third law and how it relates to rockets. Secondly, the vertical force is acting on a rocket at liftoff. And finally, calculating the acceleration of a rocket at liftoff using Newton's second law. Let's get started. So let's imagine you're asked to use Newton's third law to explain how a rocket launches. Well, the first thing we should do is remind ourselves of Newton's third law. It could be written like so. To every action, there's an equal but opposite reaction. We could also say, if A exerts a force on B, then B exerts an equal force on A in the opposite direction. Question is, what's object A, what's object B, and what are the action and reaction forces? Often, pupils answer that the rocket exerts a force on the ground in order to lift off, but that's not the case. Fuel is burnt in the rocket, producing exhaust gases, and it's the force of the rocket and the exhaust gases downwards that produces our action force. So why does the rocket lift off and move upwards then? That's because of the reaction force. The exhaust gases exert an equal force on the rocket upwards. The two forces are what's known as a Newton pair, in Newton's third law. And it's the reaction force that provides the thrust in the rocket. Now, the next question is also about forces, so it's worth pointing out that only the reaction force acts on the rocket itself. The action force acts downwards on the exhaust gases. Let's look at that second question then. If you're asked to name the vertical forces acting on a rocket at liftoff, then you'll no doubt see that it's a two mark question. You might also be asked to draw arrows to indicate their direction. First off, we have the thrust force which acts upwards on the rocket. The second force acting vertically on the rocket is its weight, which of course acts downwards. If you need to calculate the weight force, which is something we'll do in the third question, then this is the equation to use. W is equal to mg. M is the rocket's mass in kilograms, and G is the gravitational field strength of the planet that the rocket is lifting off from. On Earth, G is 9.8 newtons per kilogram. You'll find that number in the data sheet to the start of the National 5 physics exam. At liftoff, the rocket is moving so slowly that the air resistance force can be ignored, since it's so small. And now for some calculations. Calculating the acceleration of a rocket at liftoff, to be exact. Let's take a look at an example question. The combined mass of a rocket with its payload is 5.6 times 10 to the power of 5 kilograms, and the initial thrust on the rocket at liftoff is 7,560 kilonewtons. The frictional forces acting on the rocket at liftoff are negligible. If you're not sure, then the last word, negligible, means so small that it can be ignored. Part A of the question asks us to calculate the weight of the rocket at liftoff. To do that, we use the equation W equals mg, as I explained earlier. M is the mass in kilograms, and G is the gravitational field strength of the planet the rocket's lifting off from. We'll imagine that's Earth here, so G would be 9.8 newtons per kilogram. Substituting our values into the equation gives 5.6 times 10 to the power of 5 times 9.8, which works out to be 5,488,000 newtons. To two significant figures, we can write that as 5.5 times 10 to the power of 6 newtons. Part B of the question asks us to calculate the acceleration of the rocket at liftoff. So for that we need to consider the vertical forces acting on the rocket at liftoff. Those are the thrust upwards and the weight downwards. Using those two forces we can first calculate the unbalanced force acting on the rocket, which works out to be 7560 times 10 to the power of 3 newtons, that's the thrust force, minus 5.5 times 10 to the power of 6 newtons, the weight force. I've subtracted the forces because they're acting in opposite directions. That gives an unbalanced force of 2,060,000 newtons upwards. Let's move that number upwards to give us more room for the next part of the answer. Next up, we use the equation F is equal to ma, where F is the unbalanced force acting on an object in newtons, m is its mass in kilograms, and a is its acceleration in meters per second per second. If we divide both sides by m, then we can make acceleration a the subject of the equation, like so. That means that acceleration is 2,060,000 divided by the mass of 5.6 times 10 to the power of 5, which works out to two significant figures to be 3.7 ms to the minus 2. Just remember, when calculating acceleration, that you'll have to find the unbalanced force first. So I've been releasing videos with example questions recently, 
And if you do a quick search, you'll find the example video that accompanies this one. Maybe you could drop a like on that one and sprinkle a like all over this one. And if you're feeling generous, subscribe to the channel too. See you later.